Hello all, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain the difference between observer and promise in detail. So before observable, there was promise to call the API. So what was the reason to introduce the observable in Angular? So I'm going to explain in detail. So before proceeding further, if you have not followed me on the Instagram and Facebook, here's the link. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe the channel. I'm going to the next slide. Now it says promise is not lazy and observable is lazy. That means it loads the data when we subscribe the observable now i'm going to explain this point through an example let me open the visual studio code and in the previous in the previous tutorial i've created one service and here i have called one api and that particular api written one json this was the json so here it written as an observable and on the component we call this method and we subscribe and on the button click I have added one button and th on this button this particular method was being called and it subscribes the API and it logs the data so this was working fine now I'm going to add one more function on this service which will call the promise so I'll say get promise data it will return the promise return this dot obj dot get I'm going to pass the same API copy and paste dot to promise so it will return the promise now I have to call this method on the component so what I have to do I will go here and initialize one method say get promise get promise data and here I'll call the same way this dot obj dot get promise data and here I will use it then instead of subscribe because it written the promise in this I will write the one callback and here the callback I have written like this using then and let me log the result it should return the same data I will log the value sorry console and let me add one button one is for the observable and the other is for the promise data so here I will change the name and I will call the same method on this button save it now let me run this application and we'll see the result if I can able to call the method or not now here up application combined successfully let me go to the browser and type localhost 4200 and let me open the console so on this these two button I will able to get the same result if I click on this get get see the result is called if I click here it's still the same result that means this particular result was when we subscribe and this particular result was by the promise so now what is the difference between lazy and not lazy so let me show you here this using subscribe this made the observable lazy if I comment it out like this if I comment this particular section and save it on this particular service this API is being called but here on the component I have commented out the subscribe section this means that the API will not call because we have commented out the subscribe section so let's see if the API is called or not let me show you on the network because on this network API we can easily track if API is called or not so if I click here on this get see there is no call being made but if I click on this see one call issued right that means if we comment out the subscribe it this particular text made the observable lazy so if I comment it out this particular section over here still the API will be called because promise is not lazy right let me comment it out and save it save this now we'll, we'll see 
the promise is not lazy it will call the api this was promise see we have committed out this particular section but still the call api call is being issued that means promise is not promise is not lazy but observable is lazy because we need to subscribe if we comment it out if we uncomment this particular code we can easily get this data and become lazy right see if i click here the api is issued and we can get the result so this was the point we are trying to make here that promise is not lazy and observable is lazy and once the api call is made we cannot stop there is no such way that we can stop the api call but in observable we can subs unsubscribe the call so there will be no api call so let me show you how we can call the uh, unsubscribe so in angular there is an component life cycle so there is an last uh, called on destroy component life cycle and on destroy step we should always prefer to unsubscribe the call so let me show you how we can implement that implements because this is this is that, that is an interface so we have to write here uh, it's called destroy and now we have to implement this uh, this interface that is why the error be, is, error is showing i need to implement this ng on destroy and here i will unsubscribe this call this particular call so for this what i will do i'll call uh output output and uh, which is of any type and i will assign to this dot output equals to so whatever the result is there this particular function is assigned to this variable now i need to unsubscribe this variable right this dot output so what i have to do this dot output dot unsubscribe so in this way ng on destroy we should unsubscribe the all subscriber right and the last difference is that there is an no additional operator if we get the result from promise but there are lots of an observable operator called flatten operators like like map reduce retry forage filters so we'll going to see all these operator in the next video so thank you for watching this video if you have any question regarding this particular tutorial or any previous please mention the question in the comment section i will be very happy to answer and if you are new to this tutorial channel please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon and also share the links with other thank you so much